Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Yo Love It Here podcast. We are your hosts, Kelly and Rudy. And this is our special guest today. You want to introduce yourself? What's up, y'all? My name's Claude. I go by CJ. You go by CJ? I go by CJ. Should I call you that from now on? Uh, yeah. I feel like when people call me Claude, I feel like I'm in trouble. Like, really? Claude? Like, like, like stern? Like Claude. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Start calling me RJ. RJ? Oh, my God. RJ, oh, yeah. RJ, RJ, CJ. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so who are you? What do you do? You're an actor, you're a model, um, I'm a model, influencer, now I'm a full-time actor, so I feel like I do it all. Okay, period. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How did you get a, um, how did you start getting followers on Instagram? Um, my following started from when I was playing football. Uh, okay. I was at the University of Texas A&M, so I had a pretty big following. I was like 20, 30,000 at the time. Okay. Um, and then after my football days, when I moved to Cali, I just started like, Posting my like fashion and modeling and stuff. Started posting in the Hoochie Daddy shorts. And the, nah, the Hoochie <laughs> Daddy, the, the Hoochie Daddies came like somewhere of last year when it was actually popping. But um, yeah, I got my following from like. What position did you play in football? I played middle linebacker. I was like. I was gonna lot, say you're huge. I was a lot big. I was like two two sixty back then. Really? Right now I'm like two fifteen. Oh. Yeah, I was yeah, I was a big boy. That's crazy. A big boy. Big boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a um. We actually have a little care package for you, and it has some Hoochie Daddy shorts in there. Wow, okay. I got to wear them? Not right now. All right. <laughs> you got to go in the bathroom and change right, and no, come no, back. I'll, anytime. I'll put Hoochie Daddies on anytime. Hoochie Daddies are comfortable. Like, are they? Do y'all oh, like we, when a dude wear shorts past their knee? Not, Not anymore. Like, I just feel like that's so like, played out Like, what's the limit? Where's the, where's the thigh cut off? Like, like right there. That's Hoochie That's a little high, though. That's very high. Here. Above the knee. Five inches. Five inches? Five inch seams. Like, okay, it's like, wait. You yeah. feel me? Like, like here. Yeah. yeah. If it's a little, little higher, high. I'm like, all right. But I just feel like everyone wears higher shorts these days, and I'm like, it's not that bad. Like, yeah, it's I like, mean, yeah. But when but they have super long you legs. You know what I don't like? When they roll the fucking shit up. Have you oh, ever no, seen no, those? Like, like the that. basketball players? Yes, they do. Girls do. Oh, uh, I mean. Yes, uh, they do. Trust me. It's and their legs are like long spider legs. <laughs> like, but do y'all look at do y'all look at guys' legs and be like, damn, he got some nice ass legs? Nah, I really. only look at them if they're weird, if they're super skinny. Then I'm like, you also. I feel like I like athletic type built men anyway, so it's like. So you look at face. I just expect that to be there. Face, body, legs. But a lot of basketball players hmm. be twigs. <laughs> Long, tall twigs. Hmm. Maybe. Seven mm-hmm. feet. What are you trying to say? Seven feet, no meat on the bones. <laughs> well, I'm not a basketball. I play football, so. Yeah. He's like, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. <laughs> Rudy, we forgot to cheers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, How could pop, we forget pop, our pop Coronas? Corona. Pop, Don't worry. He's going to get one. We just have to do our regular cheersing. We're forcing him to drink it. I'm going to drink we it. We are forcing him. I'm cheers and crap. Oh. It didn't even sizzle. <laughs> He's in the way. Cheers. Cheers. And now you can have it. Now you can have it. Now you gotta sip it. I gotta drink it for real for real? Yeah. Cause Just I still have left over from last week. See what you think. It's like a Oh, very, it's not bad. See? I feel like people just think because if it, it says like, Corona, they're like, oh, we want to. It was like, like I tried a Bud Light, I think, or like a some one of them. No, those aren't that good. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, this, this is like a top tier. This is like a bad bitch beer. <laughs> all right, I'm a, bad, I'm a bad bitch today. Yeah. But, uh, it just gives like beach, like boat. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Chill, day vibes, we're vibing. The beach. We're playing volleyball. No, nah, I like it. <laughs> That's not volleyball. <laughs> That's what you went do with. You go to, do you go to the beach? Like, I, I feel like I always have an issue. My favorite thing is going to the beach, and guys never want to go to the beach. I have it, to be honest. I can't even tell you the last time I went to the beach. Probably like sometime last but year. But if a girl asked you to go, you would go. I'll go. Yeah. Like, yeah okay. I feel like Are you going to lay out in the sun, though? Yeah. You're getting in the ocean? Yeah. No, not this ocean. I, I get in. I this mean, ocean? like, legs. I put my legs True. in. I love that. Mm-hmm. This ocean's just not a vibe, I feel like. If we're talking like Miami or like yeah. Mexico, or, uh, yeah. LA water's dirty. LA water's a little. Well, yeah. Shut yeah. tell LA, though. Like some ass, nice ass water. I feel like anybody would want to get in, unless you're getting your hair wet like me. Bro, we just went to Miami. No, I fell off a jet ski. My hair was straight, just bone straight. I was feeling so It was our pretty. first day there. I fell off the jet, jet ski, ski, went under. My she, hair was she, like, bro. She came back. Yeah. <laughs> she came back looking mad as fuck. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I was pissed. The whole rest of the boat, yeah. she was just sitting there like, I... And everyone's like, it's okay, Kelly. I'm like, it's not okay. Nah. I look like shit. I can't <laughs> mess with the ocean. I'm scared of the ocean. I'm Do you really? Hell yeah. Can you swim? Yeah. I can swim. What do you think what it is about, about? You can't swim. I can swim. Rudy can't either. I, can, I can't. If y'all fall, I can't save y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna save me. But not, you can just like a little bit of swim. Yeah. I He's can. not lifeguard material. I'm not lifeguard material. So mm. if y'all drowning, I'm. 
I think I'm, I'm a certified <laughs> swimmer. I'm sorry. Well, you have to save me because I can't. I can't. Yeah, but you're too big. I don't know. I don't know. And what water, I water I'm light you. as hell. Really? You can save me. You, you I'll put you over my shoulder. <laughs> Turn to the Hulk underwater. What do you think it is about black people not like liking the ocean and not? Being? I think I think they just weren't surrounded by water. Like, well, it says if they're born in the islands, but I think True. American black guys and girls that were born here, like, maybe don't have water nearby. Beaches around? Yeah, maybe. What about I mean, Florida, California? True. I, I think it's just that. like this. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people. A lot of scared. black people also don't get it. Like, yes, like they're skeptical of getting in water, like and they water, don't yeah. want to get in there. I don't like big bodies of water. Like, I feel yeah. like it's shit in there. Oh, can I cuss? Yeah, yeah, it's, of course. It's shit in there that I don't know. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah. no, hundred so, percent. But in pools, like you know, pool parties, like black pool parties, ain't nobody swimming. Everyone's outside. Well, black girls, not, we, that's what I'm saying. Get, the know? hair. So maybe the black hair, guys yeah. just follow black girls. I f- shit. They're I like, shit. We not going in. I'm not going in. If black girls not getting it, I'm not getting it. We want to be where the bitches at. Yeah, we not getting in there. And the bitches not getting the hair wet. So, I guess we ain't there. That's true, though. <laughs> oh, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> that is true. Okay, are we playing this game? So, we always start off with a game. Mm-hmm. So, the game today is going to be, you're going to have to put in headphones to your ears. Okay. We're going to play super loud music so you can't hear us. Hopefully, okay, you cool. won't be able to hear us. But, and we're going to say shit to you, and you have to try to guess right, us, read our lips and see yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. No, just like, lean away. Okay, go. That's her. Go. Um, <clears throat> Is it him or you? I'll go. Uh, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Um, pizza. Okay. Pizza. Mm-hmm. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? <laughs> <laughs> That's this shit's loud as fuck. I feel like I'm at a rave. Right? Um, it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Favorite. Favorite color. Animal. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Um. Okay. Um. Can I have a ride? One more time. Can I have a ride? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> <That's a> scream. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> can I have a ride? Oh, can you get a ride? Yeah. <laughs> um, I like your hair. I like your hair. Are you all right? You all right? Are you all right? Wrong? What the hell? <laughs> you all right? Are you all right, love? Moron? <laughs> In it. In it, bro. Have you been Are you going or she going? We're both saying the same thing. <laughs> In it, bro. In it, bro. I'm not saying a full sentence, Rudy. It's a phrase. Oh. Say, are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? Babble. <laughs> are you, said babble. Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? Are you mad? Are you mad, bro? You're both talking. Same thing. You're saying the same thing? Are you are, mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? How about both at the same time? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> are you mad, bro? I think the accent's throwing it off. A little bit, right? I don't know. A lot of things going on. Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? Are you mad, bro? <laughs> this is cheating. <laughs> you guys can't both we talk. No, we're saying the same thing. I know, but I have to focus. We said, "Are you are mad, bro?" Mad, bro. Oh, <laughs> I think the British accent. Was the British accent here. really takes it away because you don't know the mouthing of British accents. Yeah, you mm. go, Rudy. Okay. If you insist. <clears throat> <laughs> if you insist. I think I'm gonna be good at this. We should play say it or shot it with him. Okay. Say it or shot? Well, we don't have a shot. Say it or shot it. We do have shots. Well, we do if you wanna do it, but you could also chug that. This is intense. Oh, well, oh y'all got Henny. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not a vibe, right? Mm-mm. Okay. I think the British accent worked. I'm gonna do that for her. All right, bro. Sunny, isn't it? Did I get it? Sunny, isn't it? Can he get it? Him? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? Sunny. <laughs> Him? Sunny in it. Did I start to get it? Sunny in it. It's, <laughs> it's sunny, isn't it? Good. Uh-huh. In my British accent. Fantastic. Yeah, totally. All right. Go. <clears throat> my turn. Um, what's your middle name? What's my middle name? Wow. <laughs> no, no, I really couldn't hear that. My, my middle name is Rudy. Exactly. That's your middle name? That's your middle name? What's our first name? Foonday. 
Don't tell her I know that. She won't care. All right. It's on another other podcast. All watch. right. Funde. Like Funde? Funde is your first name. Funde is my first name. I already knew you were talking about that. Your turn. Um, what's, what's your favorite alcohol? What's my favorite alcohol? What the hell? Am I talking loud? No, I, I really can't hear you. Yeah. But she just heard you say it. Am I talking loud? Exactly. She cheating, She's bro. cheating. Yeah. She's cheating, bro. You're cheating, bro. You're cheating, bro. Am I all right, bro? Cheating, bro. Cheating, bro. You're a fat, big cheater, bro. A fat bitch? <laughs> I swear that's what you just said. A fat, big cheater. Huge. It's a fat bitch in here. She's huge. <laughs> Huge! She's huge! Cheater. Huge, big cheater. She's a huge bitch. Mm-hmm. Huge cheater bitch. Huge fat bitch. Where did she get fat from? It's no problem. And fat. <laughs> My turn? Cheater, pumpkin eater. You're getting a lot of it wrong in a row. I said, you're a big fat cheater. And hey, you said, big fat bitch? Like, where did you get How that? How does that correlate? How does that correlate? My appearance today is crazy. I feel like I'm giving... Um, You're giving you went to a rave. I'm giving Rue off of Euphoria. After she just Shout did... Shout out to Euphoria. After I just did a, drugs or something. The hair, the show. t-shirt. My eyelashes are falling off. <laughs> I need a part on that shirt. Should we play Shot It, Say It, or Chug It? Okay. Do you have... <laughs> no, we can think things. It's actually not that bad. See? I really... I'm See, happy Corona? you're saying this. We've converted. people don't understand. It's actually not like it's it not really is. Good. We've converted someone over, <laughs> and it's just such a chill vibe. Like immediately makes you chill. You yeah, know? I'm sold. I'm You're sold. feeling it? Yeah, I'm <laughs> drunk. I'm drunk as hell right yeah. now. Yeah, woo, mm-hmm. woozy man mm-hmm. over here. Mm-hmm. Get a breath later out. Breath later? Wow. Did you drive? Wow. Call <laughs> breath later. Breath later. Call. Call the authorities. Time for the breath later. <laughs> Y'all are funny, bro. <laughs> You've never done like a um in college, like never did like a beer bong or like a yeah. shotgun. Yeah. So you drank beer, you just but just not this time. But probably. I would. I mean, we would play beer pong, but I wouldn't drink the beer. I'll probably just take a shot or something. Mm. Like, and this is better in a bottle, and it's like hard to drink that out of like an actual party. Don't drink a beer out of a can. Yeah, Why? it's not good. It's not. It's not the good. same. Mm-mm. All right. It's not as crisp. Yep. Okay, Mine's should we do new. say it or shot it? I meant chug it or shot it. I'm not. He doesn't want to drink. Do? He doesn't want to do his. Like, Y'all drinking want to take a shot? You want honey? Fuck no. Oh, we also have um. Here's the big bottle. I'll do. Oh, over we there. We have Jose Cuervo, which I'll is do. also disgusting. <laughs> it's a lot of disgusting alcohol mm. in here. Any alcohol companies? Lobos. Tequila. Um, actually, shout out to Tequila. I just did a campaign with them. Free tequila on me. Really? What? Should have brought it. Who? Huh? Tequila with Casamigos. With Casamigos? Mm-hmm. You should have brought us a freaking bottle. Shout out Casamigos, man. Oh, I can't be saying that again. No. It's okay. My fault. But they're that's different. That's they're a different. different category. Oh, but shout out Casamigos. You did a suit for Casamigos? Mm-hmm. When is it coming How out? How was that? Did you have to take shots on set? Uh, we, yeah. They or they give you too. like water ones. Nah, we could take shots. At the, oh, you could? On the second day, we could. Um, oh. It was fun. We went to uh, Big Bear. I was mm. a Mammoth. Wherever the snow is. It was like Mammoth or Big Bear. Um, it was like me... Two other guys and two oh, girls. That's your phone. That's a dream campaign to get booked for. Cost yeah. amigos, but I would be like, let's go. I'll yeah, do this for dope. free. Yeah. <laughs> it was dope. What did you do? It was just like a lifestyle shoot? Uh yeah, we were like in this big Airbnb and they had like Casamigos everywhere. It was like kinda like a adult game night kind of vibe they were going for. So they just like taking stills of us and oh, how did cool. Casamigos suddenly just become I feel like Casamigos wasn't a thing like three years ago. <laughs> it suddenly just became I've like always No, liked, yeah, I drink I've drank Casamigos. I've always like, liked since when? Yeah. yeah, a while ago. A oh, while. Wow. I feel like it just became like the top thing though. Like people. No, like in 2020, people were drinking Cosmigos. I just can't do vodka. In like 2019, people were drinking 42 though. Exactly. Like yeah. when I first moved to LA, go. 42 was. And Classe Azul. Class, but Classe Azul. Class but then I feel like in 2020, like pandemic, I was drinking Cosmigos. Yeah. 1942 is cool, but Class Azul. I don't know. 1942 puts me through pain. Bro, I don't think I like 1942. I don't really like Cosmigos either because they both have like vanilla in them. Sugar. And. That's what makes it good. I mm-hmm. need to find a. Alcohol that doesn't have any other shit in there. Just Casa moonshine. Migos. Moons? Oh, she gonna get fucked up about moonshine. You ever had moonshine? No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, what's that one? Uh, Everclear. Yeah. If you, Only because of my hangovers are deathly. And then I gotta go, figure something out. Is the hangovers caused by sugar? Mm-hmm. I think. I think so. Yeah. 
As What's a man, cause question? do you get hungover? As a man, I do not get hungover. Men don't get hungover, bro. What is that? What That's a female well, trait. I, I mean, I'm a, I barely drink as is, but when oh, I really? do, I don't. Get no, hungover. but men don't get hungover, bro. Like they'll be like, oh, I'm not, I'm feeling like last night, but they're just they'll up play, and, play up a whole basketball it. game. Literally go like, to the their f- workout what? at six a.m. and just Literally. come back and be like, oh, I was so tired. I'll uh, be throwing up. Me too. I wouldn't make it. I would be like, is my work I'm, that I'm, important? I'll be like this. Yeah, like, me too. My heart be beating. I feel like I can't get up. I can't even take a shower. I don't understand. How do you go to a 6 a.m. workout and they're just like, oh, I was just fucking no. I was really feeling it out that workout. When was the last time you hung over? Last Three night? Days ago? Yeah. Uh, Yesterday? Oh, you were? Loki, yeah. I feel like last time I was hung over was in Miami. Do y'all have a high tolerance was- though? Like, how many shots can you take until you just, like, you done? Drunk mm. as fuck? Like, Drunk as fuck. Need to go home? Like, six? you've done... What? No. I can do six. And not- we did, no. We did way more in Miami. You could do about ten. But that, that was over way a span. More. Are we talking about a short amount oh, of time? Oh, we're talking about just, like... Yeah, throughout the night. No, the, the second night, we it was at one one point. Then I don't know. After a six, lot. it's like, I'm not there. Somebody else is in there. That's your alter ego? What's her name? <laughs> really? Rue. You think six? Rudy and Rue. I think after six, I'm very intoxicated, at least. If they're in a row. If it's, like, throughout the day. Like, when we went on the boat, we probably took 20... Shots that day, Had to. but that was mm-hmm. from like 3 p.m. Crazy. until 5 a.m. I would have died. No, you wouldn't. Cease. You're a grown man. Done yeah, so. you wouldn't have died. Which but shots of what though? Casamigos. Henny. If yeah. y'all drinking Henny. No, I don't drink Henny. Henny fucks me up for like bad for some reason. No, I don't drink Henny. I can't do Henny. I just don't like the taste. I don't like the taste of alcohol in general, but Henny, I really don't like. The Henny taste. makes me want to fight. I was really? about to say the same thing. It's I'm like the, a different feeling. It just goes into your body and just makes you. I'm like, just like. Mm. Exactly. Really? My fists, my fists start getting balled up. If you bump me one more time, I'm gonna punch you. In the, nah, I'm just. Fine. Exactly. <laughs> I just don't know how to say excuse me. <laughs> no, nah, I just can't do Henny. Yeah. I can't. Should we tell him to be quiet? Who? Yeah, oh, emails. Hey, shout out to emails because he he been killing it since I moved here. <laughs> that was like 2018, and he booked me for my first uh my first music video like ever. Really? Mm-hmm. Which one? It was. I think it was like a Kate Lani, Dom Kennedy. Music oh, video. that's cute. And then, yeah, after that, I was getting booked left and right. What were you doing? That's kissing cool. Kaylani? No, I never had to kiss. It was a video, actually, that got scrapped. Um, oh. My last time working with Kaylani, it was a song with Kaylani and Kamaya uh, that got scrapped. And mm. they had to kill me. In the, in the, or I had to die in like a, the car or something. I don't know. I don't yeah. know why. I feel like whenever I get booked <laughs> for music videos, half, 60% of the time, I have to play like a angry girlfriend. Like, I have to be I mean, cussing out someone. A lot of love songs. That's true. Heartbreaks. You got that look. Sells. You look crazy. I look like a crazy person. You look crazy. <laughs> I'm weird. I don't want to say it. So I'm, maybe it just means I'm good at acting, okay? You should, Are you acting? I've, I've acted in music videos only. No, like, are you like are you acting? acting like, I've never tried. What's stopping you? But I've been thinking that. I'm like, I need to ask some of my actor friends, like, how do you, what do you do? What acting do you is auditions? so hard, though. It's not. You act every day. No, it is. Like, I just feel like, like, being around actors, like, I just feel like they are just, like, a different brain. Like, they have a different, like, switch to them that normal people don't have. Especially if you want to be, like, if you want to do huge movies, you know what I'm saying? Well, what people don't even know is just, like, acting isn't acting. Acting is reacting. Like, I'm reacting off something you tell me naturally. Like, you know, it's just... True, but if you have to get into a character that's not how you would normally be, like say you have to, I don't know. You gotta be psychotic. My thing yeah. is, if you're not you in do. that mood, like because if, you, if you have to do a movie, the saying that say you have to do a movie that of you, you're being a slave in 1960. You, you kinda, don't know, you, you don't know gotta, anything about that. So I you mean, have to literally like dedicate your whole life to that role, and it's just like I don't know, it's just like very hard. Like I have a respect for actors. Like, yeah, that's just fucking hard. And I think you, I took one class in college that was like kind of acting vibes, and. You just have to put your pride aside because we're in front of all these people yeah. and they're saying scream as loud as you can. It's like it's so embarrassing. That's the thing. People just don't like to get embarrassed. But like yeah. if you take being embarrassed out of it, like it's really just like. It's I think it's like, say, I don't know, say you want you played like a college football player. I did a, that in real life. So, I, I think, you know exactly. I mean? so that would be easier for you and it would be more natural for you. And you would probably do so well at that role. Mm-hmm. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you want to expand, you're going to have to fucking do crazy Could shit. Could you play a gay role? This is talking um, about major production. Major production is going to be a Hollywood I hit, mean, there's, there's, and you're getting a lot of money. No, like sex or anything, but like you're playing a gay. Like person. you have to kiss the guy and stuff. Kiss. I mean, I this, it's actually it's straight actors that play gay roles all the time. Like mm-hmm. exactly. uh, the guy from P Valley. Uh, that guy. He's married with kids. Exactly. Um, the That's guy so from crazy, Power. Though. Yeah, the guy from. I mean, bro, it's like if you look at it, like you're. you're you get paid more you, for that, right? 
Yeah. I, I mean, would ask for more at least. That would be like It's just depending on like your team if they want you to do it or if you know if you feel comfortable do it. Yeah. That's so hard though, as a man, to say like you know what I'm saying? Okay, could you have sex? Straight man. On, like, could you pretend to have sex on a if show? If the money's right. Like, you know all these shows where, like, you yeah. see Like a girl. sex scene or whatever? Yeah, like, you see the sex and scene. And it also depends on the... P- Imagine getting cast and your your love interest is ugly as fuck and you have to pretend you're in you love with act. them. And you gotta make out with them and pretend you're in love. But I feel like that's why a lot of actors and actresses, like, on set, like, they end up dating. Because I'm like, they... Mm, you have to really true. get No, they character. do end up dating. A lot of them do. Especially long-running TV Fox shows. Megan Fox and... MJK, MGK meet on a sh- they met on a on an acting show. A lot of actors. Yeah, a lot of people. MGK do. is an actor. He acted in something in a I movie. Guess, oh. And sh- they met on set. Shout out to him. Like Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Yeah, a lot of people. Okay, do. y'all talking early two thousands. No, but that happens a lot. I'm not kidding. Hmm. And um, the people on Outer Banks aren't they yeah, dating? They were not anymore, but they were. Yeah. You have to convince yourself that you're in love with them. But it's also like you spend so much time with like your that person. I about to say, yeah, yeah. Like you could develop like actual feelings with them that's why I'm like as a wife like if my husband was like uh, in a movie could bro, y'all I'll handle be stressed that? like if you're if you go into your I would your, be fucking stressed look you go into your husband's premiere you know he got a sex scene like how are you gonna take that mm. it's not even about the scene it's about it's like not, you said yeah, the time the that time they're spending, that they're spending with this girl day. like kissing like, like remember do you, you, watch, you don't watch Selling Sunset right yeah, but Chriselle remember her husband left her for his co-star yes like broke up with her via text message like texted her and was like it's over. Left her the I, not even like the next day he like was with the co-star. Like I'm not even kidding. So it's like that is hard to do because it's like you spend so much time with someone like or your husband spends so much time with someone like it sucks like know. any I guess any profession probably has its difficulties when it comes to dating and stuff, but I feel like the entertainment industry is hard. It's different Actors, because it's singers. like actresses are are, are normally going to be attractive women. Like you know what I'm saying? No. If she's playing if she's playing a love interest most of the time it's gonna be an attractive woman if she's playing a love interest. And it's like, shit, if she's an attractive woman, like if everybody finds her attractive, you're gonna find her attractive. And it's like- And your job is to like- Not only that, but you're gonna get to know her. Yeah. It's like, uh- Have you had to have a love interest in a a thing? I've played love interest in a short. um, Well, I did this artist named Umi. I love Umi so much. Uh, I was a love interest in her like short music video. Um, I played like a love interest in Cardi B's video. That's the Mills booked me for that actually. Cardi B. Yeah. Um, where, where actually, that was a funny this? story. I was supposed to. I was supposed to. They booked me to kiss Cardi, mm? and then the day of the shoot, they. I so guess, we're not doing that part. I guess also was probably like not. Nah, yeah. yeah. Oh too my much. god. Yeah. So. He was not what if he was that. there and he was like. I think, I think he might have been. I don't know. I mean, shit, I was there to get paid. I wasn't worried about it. Yeah. Okay, but think about this. Like, in the future, like, you have a family and a wife and kids, and, like, you get booked for, like, a movie that's going to take, I don't know, a year to make. So you're going to be with someone for a year, and that's supposed to be your love interest. Like, um, Michael B. Jordan, and what's her name? Uh, t- 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 uh, uh, Tessa, from Creed. Tessa from Thompson. Creed. Yeah, they, like, they it probably look, took them a while to, to make that movie. They like, look like they should be. In they love. look, no, they look like brothers and sisters. Isn't she married? I don't know. So you couldn't date an actor? I thought she was gay. Oh, maybe. Uh-huh. But they look like brother and sister to me. Like, they have no vibes. No but like, like chemistry? You, no chemistry. But, like, I feel like... They have you, chemistry. You think? Yeah. They have on-screen chemistry. Have That's you seen them on a red carpet? They look like carpet? Brother, carpet? They look like <laughs> pounded brother and sister. I mean, because like, at the end of the day, they actors, good. like, wait. True. They probably but I'm like, just saying, like... Imagine if she was she was a girl. But knowing myself, I would fall in love. Like, I would... You would? Just, yeah, I, I feel like I develop feelings for people just even if I wouldn't really like them in real life you know I'm a Pisces I'd be living in a dream oh, world she's a Pisces. Mm. I'd be living in a dream state like if we're on if we're living in a fake reality all the time I'm gonna start thinking that it's real really yeah you're a hopeless romantic <laughs> yeah I guess so I don't feel like that about you like, hopeless romantic like think about some of the guys that I've been like I like them and then sure. now I think about it and I'm like what yeah. was I thinking yeah Listen, we've all had. I just, I'm a hopeless romantic, but I feel like I live in more of a re- no. I feel like I be delusional to a point of like good, like manifest for me. It always happens. Yeah. Hmm. What? What? Have you been on a, on a TV show yet? Um, I have not booked any TV shows yet. I am probably gonna be filming a movie soon. Ooh, um, shout out to good. my team. Yeah, shout out to my team. Uh, I've just been getting like a lot of auditions and stuff. So. You seem like you would be on like. Insecure. Okay. Something like that. I, I fuck with that. Shout out Issa. Shout out Issa Ray. <laughs> book him. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's over. It was the last season, I think, like, mm-hmm. this year. Oh, really? Mm. They're never doing it again? I don't think so. Whoa, that's sad. Nah, yeah, Insecure is one of my favorite shows. Are you funny, though? Like, could you be on, like, a comedy, or you think you... Oh, I could do, I feel like I have a good range. I can do drama. I can do horror. Can, can you do... cry? Um, if I take myself to a place, I can cry. You gotta... But you, you would rather be on, like, a happy show? Um... I it mean, doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter. I want to play a villain. That's my. I dream. think that's my. Yeah, I want to play like a bad guy. Like Me I wanna, too. Like really? BMF power. All oh, those like shows. kill somebody and be like. I love those. Fuck, shut them up. Yeah. I like, seen your um, one of your self tapes when you were playing something like that, and you you auditioned for something like I that. Think, did I have that the cigar in my mouth? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, okay, it's giving uh, the scene in Power where he's standing up above at the club. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like bro, I see I, it. I love that show. Um, my favorite actor on that show is probably Woody. Kane, he be bodying his role. Like, he bodies that role. Wait, which one's Woody? Uh, Kane, Tahada. He's uh, Mary J. Blas' son. Monet's son. Do you watch Power? She probably know what you're talking about. I do watch Power, but, like, I'm not that into Power. I feel like he also is, like, the most, like, known actor. It's, it's He's he on be- Ghost Power Book 2. Uh, it's like Tyree. I didn't watch the kind of. Okay, yeah. He kinda- well, Omari is another. He OG, like, he's a great yeah, actor. Yeah, Phenomenal. He's crazy. Phenomenal actor. Yeah. Who's your, like, dream person to like act in a movie with or a I, show manifesting i'm definitely going to do something with denzel washington all-time favorite actor yeah um he gotta be he gotta be top three. i mean he's fucking amazing yeah he's the yeah he's number one like if i can do anything it'll be he's denzel. number one what do you think is the best female actors best female actress I thought he was gonna be number one. You know that TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I thought he was gonna be number one. There's so many phenomenal actresses. Uh, Viola Davis. Yeah, I was, I was she's unbelievable. That. Or, but that's um, what I mean by like psychotic a little bit. Like, yeah, you gotta she, be a little crazy. Yeah. Like her shit. Even um, what's her name? Scandal lady. I saw um, was it Viola Davis? I'm pretty sure it was Viola Davis that did an interview, and she was saying like. She's like, I'm literally one of the most seasoned and experienced and talented and qualified actresses out there. And she's like, I talked to one of my counterparts who's white and she's also, you know, same type of level. And she's like, she makes literally five times as much money as me. She gets booked for way more roles. I have to work five times harder. And Viola Davis is grown as fuck. She's one of the, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, that's insane. Her roles, I just feel like. (laughs) Would be so draining. Like mm-hmm. she's she's. Amazing. You have to like dedicate your life to that shit. You know. Do you think it takes a a, a toll on people? Like he, it does. he yeah. Ledger after the Joker. Yeah. But have you you guys haven't probably seen this movie? But Will Smith was in an an- emancipation Emanci- movie. I've heard. I've never seen it, but I heard about it. It like I watched it. I went to a premiere and I watched it. And he was speaking after, and he was like, him and the um the white guy who was like the beater of the slaves. Mm. Basically, they didn't talk the entire time filming, and he said they didn't even introduce themselves like off camera. He said they were so into the role, like he wanted to look at him like as a racist piece of shit, basically. True. And he it's wanted like to look that. at him as a slave. They didn't speak, and then he said, right when they rapped, they were like, "Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Will." Yeah, it's like that. After a year. I just got goosebumps. That's the craziest thing. No, I, when he <laughs> said that, like crazy. I have a video of him saying that, and I was like, "What?" I'm it's, like, yeah. they dedicate their lives to like these type of shits. Like he said, he went in the water, like with the alligators, like <gasps> with real alligators, and they would have alligator watchers, and they would have a rope on him, and they would be like alligator, and they would pull him out the water. <gasps> like he would be hiding, like for the film crazy like it's just crazy the shit that they like go through like that's what it takes that's what I'm all the like, crazy bro. have you been in um commercials yeah i've done i've done a ton of commercials um like what else cosmigos what else <laughs> uh I, did, I have a hyundai um commercial that's actually running in Times square oh still uh did hyundai cosmigos um talentless uh i feel like i always see you like looking like you're in the most wholesome shoots. Like, I don't know if it's fashion like or commercials. Yeah, you'd be looking just like a wholesome <laughs> husband man in these, in yeah. these shoots. I just did uh, Lumen with the snake that was on. Oh, yeah, he had a snake wrapped on his neck. On like, my face. constricting. Really? That was lit. No, that was, it was a vibe. The snake was chill. Really? It was pretty he chill. Wasn't no, that's squeezing. serious fuck. He was squeezing, but I mean. <gasps> he was, he it said, was, but I mean. It was a baby. It was a baby? Sure. Would you ever be on a reality show? No. Just because you feel like it would like clash with. Not even that. Like even I just that's that's not your vibe. I couldn't do it. I've turned on. I turned on reality TV probably like once a month. They asked. I was me. gonna say you yeah, are they, a perfect candidate. Yeah, you are. Like I like just, you should be on um. Fuck, what's that shit called? Love, love Island. Uh, no, 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 not Love Island. Too hot um, to handle. Too hot to handle. <clears throat> nah, it's not my. I just couldn't. Do it. Shout out to the people who do it though, because like. You would be perfect on that. I just couldn't. 
It's like everything you do, you're on a camera 24 seven. Yeah. Like you're living with people for months at a time. Like I just, it's not my thing. I don't think I'll probably go crazy. Really? I would go crazy. I always wondered about that. And um, a couple people off our reality shows have been on here. And I asked one guy um, that was on Too Hot to Handle. I'm like, is it actually cameras like filming you at all times? She's like, literally, Everywhere. yes. Like, yeah. I thought that was just like, I thought I they just. I heard it's even in the bathroom. Yeah, it is. Like, when you're taking about a to shower, watch you take a shower. I'm like, sure they don't watch it, but like, it's in there. They gotta watch it. To go through like, the film to edit it. Yeah, they gotta. Well, you, they're watching everything. True. Cause like, know. and then you know some of the shows like drama. They're like, "Ooh, is she gonna go sneak in the shower with him?" Yeah, like, that's the you point. Know, like, yeah. they Especially like too hot to handle. They're trying to see if you're trying to sneak if, yeah, around. I just I couldn't be on TV. Just like my problem is to go on a reality show. I feel like I would be like, "What are the chances that I'm gonna like one of these guys?" Like out there's, of there's the chance. random <laughs> eight guys, I, what are the chances I would not? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe there's somehow they would put someone in there. But I'm like, one, I'm tall. I'm. You know what I'm saying? If, they, if these just, guys are not yeah. taller than me, which chances are they're not gonna be? No. You ain't that tall. I'm tall. You're tall, so you think yeah. I'm not that tall. We're, you're like, we're, we're five, five, we're eight, five. We're the same height. Five nine. You're five nine. Five nine and a half. Kelly says we're five ten. We're five ten. My doctor said five. We're nine. the same and, height. So in hills, y'all be tower like tower old. Yeah. People. Yes. In hills, we're like. Do y'all think that um, scares guys away from like talking to y'all? No. No. It's I want them to be scared away, but, but they don't. They still. I'm like no problem with short guys talking to tall girls, but I personally. Can't. Yeah, I can't I'm do just, it either. We'd be like above average height. Sometimes, like not we, but we we be talking to guys that are like six one, like you know what I'm saying around that range, and we'll put on heels and we'll be like, like the other night, like, we were like, are we taller than you? Like my heels, like it just like feels I just like sit so. Sit down the whole night. Yeah. It Could feels you talk so... to a guy shorter than you though? No. No. Not at all. Absolutely. No. 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 Same height. Same height. Then I'm taller than you. Ten. Well, so say five ten as a guy, I don't. Mm-hmm. I could not. Yeah. No. Like, what's your cutoff? Six six one. Six. Six one. Six two. Six three. Six, six four. In a, I'm like, in a perfect world, it would be taller than that. But like, I. I could possibly I do to, six foot if it's like. Perfect. perfect if it's guy. like we're really in love, you know what I mean? And it's like just super perfect. Six foot situation. is too close because I feel like I'm six foot sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when, we have, when we have when we have heels on, like yeah, we're right here. I mean, tall, girl, tall girls are it though. Like, yeah, no, I'm so confident in my height. Like, I love being tall. But the average but, male height is 5'7", you know that? But I would never, yeah. ever talk to a guy that's 5'7", so it doesn't matter to me. Like, tall, I'm like, I don't tall care Tall girl, that. you get tall babies. Yeah. You get D1 babies. Yeah, and I'm a D1 girl, so. D1 girl. I, I, so. oh. I can Wait, what'd you play? Basketball. Where? Old Dominion University. Wow, I would have not ever guessed that. Yeah, this guy commenting on my picture, no way, you played basketball. Point not all? Shooting guard. Shooting guard. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, huh? You, got a little you, sh- you played. You played sports, right? No. Why well, don't think you played soccer in college or something? <laughs> you got like a soccer body, like really? Track. I soccer. never played. I, I ran track in high school barely. So but. you're not, <laughs> you're not athletic barely. at all. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I'm not capable of being athletic, but I've never been like inclined. You know what I mean? I, like I tried out for basketball in sixth grade, didn't make it. Do you like? Are you like? You feel like you're athletic? You like the gym? I, I've been getting into the gym lately. I've been with a trainer. Been doing. Pilates. Mm-hmm. I've been. And it's, it's hard, like at this age, to find like athleticism, though. Like, yeah. Because you're like, when you're young, like, yeah, it is natural. Like, I feel like it is natural because my dad played sports, but I, I was taught to be like athletic. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it is hard, like, at, at an adult. And it's age. all around you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right now, it's like it's so easy to just go home and do nothing and yeah. not exercise. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like my mental health is really improved since I've been going to the gym. Shout out to my trainer, you're really helping me in life. Like, I, love I the gym. my life is so much. You like, think I the just, gym has helped your mental health? Literally, really? I haven't sure. seen like Mind my does. body change that. I, I'm not really going for my body. I'm just going to try to, you know. It what just I mean? clears your mind when you work out. Like, and I and that I feel is crazy proud of myself. Say that. The main reason is because I am sticking to a routine and I'm proud of myself for that. And so it builds my confidence because I say, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm actually doing it. And, and I'm nervous at the beginning that I won't be able to finish the workout mm. and I finish it and I say, you did it, Rudy, good job. Like it yeah. makes me confident and it's it's really making me feel better about myself. So I think it's you know, really beneficial. What gym have you been going to? It's called Self Made Hollywood. Where, you in, are you living in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. I met you from um, the gym. Remember? Which, which one? Royal Personal Training. You were at Royal. Yeah, that's not my first name. Oh, you were at, that's where we met? Yeah. That was like 2020, like Corona. 2019, maybe, yeah. 2019. Yeah. Damn, we've been locked in for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you like, have you been consistent in the gym since then? Every day, I'm in the gym every day. It's so weird how people say like the gym helps their mouth. I always wondered how, because I'm like, I 
because I played sports my whole life, like the gym was never like an outlet. It was something I had to do. Yeah, you're so just it's like, like release stress. Like it never did that for me. Because like, you know I how... had to work out for for to be good at basketball to get a scholarship. Then I had to work out when I played basketball because I had to. Well, I feel you. Like you know you what gotta I mean. Wake up so it's just like I don't look at working out that way. Like I don't know why. Like I just feel like my. But a lot of people that played probably do look at it that way. But I don't like. I don't know. Maybe because I had to forever in my life. But I like I love the gym. I feel like I can't. I like I like it. I'm but. starting to like it. Yeah, I'm like I I always used to dread working out, and now I'm starting to like. I think doing it with a trainer is really different. For yeah, me. it's solid core. We be dying. Oh, Bro. have Pol- you ever tried Pilates? Have you ever tried Pilates? I feel like I'm too big for Pilates. My, no, never that. No. Never too big. Impossible. Impossible. I mean, you should try. You should come with us. Maybe one day. You might die though. Solid, it's really solid hard. Core? That's what it's called. There's like professional athletes that have told us that like that shit fucking. Is, because it's different than any other workout yeah. that you'll do. It's, I'll go one day. It's yeah. 50 minutes, no breaks. Like you're moving the entire time on this like machine thing. It's like a lot of and stability and flexibility. See, it's not, hard too. It's hard too though. Like it's not just flexibility. Like it's actual strength. Like more most of it is core. So I feel like guys core is easy for them mm. yeah why is that why is that fair that's just we'd be dying on the core part like you had to do like the side like you have to pull in the thingy mm. and like do crunches to the side oh my god i we cheat just, every single oh my time god. it's not a cheat but it's you know easier my, well, I my one knees. teacher was like on rudy's ass that day bro she's she like was, lift up your i'm like yeah. i can't she's like would come over to her every second like and lift her hips and she's I'm like, like i don't I, want to if i could lift them they would be lifted <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. One day when y'all go, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, see so if you have a guest pass the, with us. It, It's but. dark, like the music's loud. Like, it's a good vibe in there, but that shit's fucking... I'll try it. I need, yeah, I need to get back in my bitch. I know, I I have eight more. Oh, you do? You just haven't used them? I didn't want to get eight more, but <laughs> <laughs> they just charged me for eight more. Uh, are you single? I am single. I am. Single as a Pringle or single kind of single? I am a single. Um, no, I'm single. Uh, Somebody's going to be mad at this. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm a single single man. When um, was the last time he was in a relationship? Like, when did you have a girlfriend last? Uh, 20, 2020? 20, 20, yeah, twenty twenty. Twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. The girl you used to go to the gym with, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> we Next. like we did a lot of influencer um like people's working out at the gym. You know what I'm saying? So you guys probably didn't know who I was, but I know who you were because I did the social media. So I would DM influencers to like come in and work out with us and stuff. You know what I mean? I do remember. Yeah. I remember. Next topic. <laughs> He's getting mad over there. What do you think? Okay, do you, we were talking about this earlier, like, <clears throat> with, like, Instagram now and, like, how it's basically a dating app. Like, do you think that, like, following and liking girls' pictures in a relationship is, like, cheating? Or is, like, a no-go? Just because de- you know how it is. Like, It depends the type of, like, understanding y'all have, type of communication, like, I mean, if you're in a relationship, you probably shouldn't be liking a half-naked girl's picture. Yeah. What if she's not half-naked? What if she's just a girl that's pretty? If it's somebody I follow, like, then I'm going to like. But I'm not going to... If I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to go out of my way to go like somebody's picture. Yeah. You feel me? Or, like, I wouldn't want my girl to go out But, like, her. following people. Like, say you're like, oh, I'm going out with the boys and, like, you... you yeah, well, that's cheating. That's, if you go out, you, you follow a pretty girl, like... That you Come met on, out, bro. Like, right? it's like, yeah. Like, because how'd you, what if you she's ask like, for her Instagram? What if she's like, oh, um, say it's me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to cast you for music videos. I, I That's But work. also, you don't have to follow them. That's what yeah, I don't what, have yeah, to. You don't have to follow like, them. Like, you can, you can be like, this is my Instagram. You I'll, can hit me I'll up. I'll send you your Instagram. Me. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So I right. think it's like, it's more of like, in you're in a relationship and people know, like, you guys have each other on the pages, like, following someone is like, eh, who's that girl to him? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. It like puts other people in the business too because I'm like, why? Like, That's why when you're talking to somebody, y'all don't even have to follow each other. True. You don't have to. Because Sometimes I do, business? sometimes I don't. But sometimes, like, yeah, sometimes I'm talking to somebody, I don't have, we don't even have each other on social media. It depends who it is. Like I if it's yeah. a certain person, like I'll be like, don't even do that. Because yeah. I don't want no problems. So I don't uh-huh. want nobody to be in my fucking, asking me, you know what I mean? Because, your spot. Exactly. Mike how how do you know him? Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, it's going to get messy, though. Like. It's, it's, it is messy because it is, like, there's a lot of the times that you meet, like, you probably meet girls. We meet guys on Instagram. Like, yeah. we might have mutual friends, like, Rudy might know him, but mm-hmm. I never met him in person, but he could be like, oh, I, I saw Kelly on Rudy's page. I'm going to hit her up. I'm going to DM Or you her. know what I hate? Like, when people, let's say you follow somebody on Instagram, and, like, y'all exchange a few DMs or whatever. Y'all never met. But then people start saying, oh, yeah, like, I used to talk to her. Or I used to talk to him. No, that we is, didn't. like, childish, though. We did not talk. 
I don't even know you. People be lying on you like that? Bruh. <laughs> I can't even tell you the amount of times where somebody say, oh, yeah, I know him. We used to talk. No, we didn't. You're probably my DM. Talking DMs. someone, talk, saying that you talk to someone that you DM'd is it's wild. crazy. Like, well, we always, like, we'll run past guys to each other, and I'll be like, has he DM'd you? But it's not even on some type of, like, have you talked to him, but it's just, like, has he is tried he it? on that type yeah, of yeah, time yeah, where yeah. he's, like, DMing you? Like, has he hit you up before? And like, that also kind of says... It maybe says like serial, just like exactly. DMing. It says all like uh uh-uh. uh, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm you good. would be maybe you wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you do this, but I think other people may be surprised at the amount of people that say they're trying to talk to me and they've been trying to talk to me and I see them out whatever consistently been trying to talk to me and then they'll see Kelly or one of my other friends whatever on my page. I post her on my story. They slide in Kelly's DMs and vice versa. Yeah, someone's trying to talk to Kelly and then they'll try to talk to me or start liking all my pictures. I'm like, uh, hey. and I'm like, if they thought they had a chance with you, now your chance is gone. Yeah, but it, there is scenarios like this last scenario where the guy, like, the guy basically tried to talk to me and I wasn't really interested, and then he tried to talk to Rudy. But it's almost like you're just like. That's just too desperate. We are best friends. We yeah. spend every day together. We post each other so it's very on a daily like, basis. It's just too, that's too desperate. There's so many girls in the world and it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's, it's like a scenario where it's like, I truly believe that Rudy would like him more than I would or something like that. Then like I would you guys like, are yeah, true, true like, love connection. Yeah, exactly. And I would be like, okay, I don't find him attractive at all. Maybe you do. If you do, you know what I mean? I mean, girls do, girls do that too. Really? This girl, hey. Listen, Instagram gets messy. I would never, I would no, never. that's weird. Do that to two best friends. Yeah, like, best I friends investigate is crazy. that before I even best entertain someone. I, I never do make that. sure, like they're not. Even if they follow each other, I'm like, I'm not even. I'm telling you, every guys and girls. They follow each other is a little like, cause you. But at least I'm gonna be cautious and I'm gonna investigate. Like, okay, what's the relationship here? Like, yeah. Like it's been it's been girls that's talking to my homies, <laughs> and then they try to slide on me. It's just like. But do they? They like. Meeting someone with someone is crazy. Like if they she met you with them and then tried to talk to you, that would be crazy as fuck. Has that happened? Yeah. That has happened to That's us happened. too. That's happened. Or like Like I'll bring Rudy out <coughs> and we'll go out and I don't know, like a year later someone will DM her. And I'm like we literally met. I just together. feel like yeah, I just feel like people don't care. Like people don't like Yeah. Cause even I mean I'm sure like y'all don't do it, but sometimes like in a in a friends group amongst guys like Guys don't a, care as much. A guy of me, like let's say I bring someone to a party, and then my homies all meet her. One of them probably gonna slide. Hell yeah. Guys are way worse than yeah. that. It's, it's, guys are way worse than that. It's like, you know, um, you kind of have to have an understanding with your homies. Like, yo, it's either that's cool or it's. But I feel like, this is what I feel like. I feel like if you brought her around and showed her, like, showed them, like, you really like her and stuff, then maybe they would, they wouldn't. But if you mm. brought her around and was like, oh, this is just the girl that's coming, you know what I'm saying? Then, How about the type and of, I think it's the type of respect that you put of, yeah, on her yeah. that they are going to move on. And, that and a lot of the time, know. guys are scared to be like, yeah, I really like her. Yeah. That but lets like, me know. Not really. Like, if one of his friends tries to talk to me, that lets me know. You didn't. That's not you true. Didn't, exactly. You didn't nah, put a respect nah, on that relationship. that's not true because sometimes friends are sneaky. And it's been situations where... True. I always thought that. Sometimes friends are sneaky. A lot of friends have tried to talk to me. You can love your friend to death, but sometimes it's it's dudes who will be sneaky. It doesn't matter if you tell your friend, I'm I'm so in love with this girl. Like, if they think she bad, bro, they're going to shoot. And if they think she's about it, Yeah, if they think she's about it. But, like, usually girls, like, if they really like a guy, like, let's say you and I are talking, and my friend sides in your DM, you're going to be like, uh... Your yeah. friend just tried to slide in yeah. my DM. Mm-hmm. And I've then it's an issue with, like, your homeboy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I've had a guy's coach DM me before. Coach? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, seen me at the game and DM'd me, bro. And I hit him. I'm like, is this your fucking coach? He's like, what do you do? I'm like, he literally is DMing me. Nah, my coach He's is like, are you fucking me. kidding me? Like, But a lot of, like, there's a lot of young coaches, like, that be thinking that they, nah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, my coach is going to have to see me. If I, if, <laughs> it's just like, if I bring my a girl. Have to square up. Yeah, no, nah, we're about to square up. <laughs> If I bring a girl around my friends and like it's probably already known that like this is somebody I really like, I really, you know, really like well, this person. If you true. you know, if you slide. Would you rather have a girl that's like like center of attention, making everyone laugh, haha, I'm so funny, I'm so you know what I'm saying, so friendly and entertaining and fun and like you know what I mean? Or would you rather have a girl that's just like boring and just quiet and clings to your arm? That's boring, you say. Like, I just No, but this I, is the that's the that's the I'm saying. I don't think that's why. I like a chill, laid back girl. No, no, like, I'm saying if you had to pick one. Oh, if I, I'll pick like, the chill. You, but, but she's boring though. 
That's fine. <laughs> Shit, I'm born too, baby. We could be born together. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't. Like, you don't like friendly bitches. Who, who like? Do y'all like friendly niggas? Mm. Exactly. Not really. Nobody likes a friendly bitch. Yeah. No girl wants a friendly nigga. Either. So, in order to end this, we should chug the rest of your drink. One. He loves the Corona. Chug. That's your send off. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see how many seconds you can do it in. Ready? Should we do a timer? But y'all about to kill me. Just You're not going to die. Right, ready? Go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm nervous. Oh, my God. <laughs> really doing it. Oh, my God. You're doing it. Wow. 12 seconds. That was pretty good. He's going to burp. Watch. Send me to Mexico. It's going to be a big burp after this. <laughs> okay. All right. So... We're going to do this correctly, right? This yes. time? We're going to do the outro correctly. Okay. See you guys on the next episode. And as always, we, we promise, promise you'll, you'll love, love it here. here.